Hi, writers. Okay, so yesterday you guys came up with a character, a setting, a problem, and a solution. For example, I came up with my character is Daniela and her mom. The setting is at the mall. The problem is that they don't have enough money to buy a coat that Daniela really wants. The solution is her mom makes a, a coat just like the one she wants. Okay, so now what you need to do is you're gonna write out your beginning, your middle, and your end. And things are changing a little, just a little bit, okay? You're still gonna be publishing on KidBlog, but you're not gonna go on KidBlog today or tomorrow. You're gonna go on KidBlog on Thursday. So today, I want you to, on a piece of paper, you're still gonna do it on a piece of paper, we're gonna do something like this, where we come up with a beginning, a middle, and an end, okay? Beginning, middle, and end. And in the beginning, you're going to talk about the character in the setting. In the middle, you tell about the problem. In the end, you tell about the solution in the ending. So I'm going to have this piece of paper attached. You should, uh, your family should have a copy of it if they want to print it out. If not, you can do something, what you're going to do what I'm going to do, which is you're going to do each page is a different part, okay? So I want you to go to a new blank page. We're still gonna use this idea from yesterday, but now we're gonna turn it into a story, okay? So this is gonna be your beginning. So maybe on the top you can put beginning. Sorry. I'm writing it down. So I want you to write down beginning on the very top of one page. So here's the top of my page and I have the word beginning, okay? And I also want you to put the words um, character and setting. So it reminds you that this is the part where you say the characters and the setting. Look something like this. You've got your beginning at the top and you have the words character and setting to remind you that those are the things that you need to introduce in the beginning okay so this is the first part is your beginning of your story i also put like a line to put this is going to be where i put my picture and this is going to be where i do my writing okay so on the top part i'm going to start with a picture of what happens in the beginning and again the beginning has what two things the characters in the setting so let me go back and think what are my characters in my setting oh that's right my character is Daniela and her mom, and the setting is at the mall. So I'm going to draw a picture of those two things on the top here. So this top part, I'm going to draw a picture of Daniela and her mom at the mall. So when you look back, I'm going to show you my, um, my picture. One second. So you'll notice that I drew a picture here of Daniela and her mom at the mall. I drew the bag on the mom's, the purse that she was wearing. I drew, you know how they have stands in the middle of the mall and then there was a popcorn stand. And then I drew some stores on the side and you can see like the different things like journeys, they have the shoes and Claire's has the earrings and H&M has the clothes and Justice has the clothes. Um, so I'm showing that I'm at a mall and that, well, I'm showing that they're at a mall and that the, Daniela is with her mom. And I just have some details. So think about your character and your setting. How can you add detail to your picture? What do you see? What is around? What's going on? Um, what would be there? And then draw it in your drawing, okay? Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and get started on writing your beginning. This is just your beginning, nothing else. So just your characters and your setting. And you're going to write this out here, okay? So I'm going to do that right now. Sorry, before I write it out, I do want to show you guys something. These are our story starters. Sometimes we need these to help us come up with, how do I want to start my story? So maybe you start with the words yesterday, 
last night, a long time ago, one time, this morning, today, one afternoon, um, recently, at first, in the beginning, not too long ago, this one time, I remember, it all started when and first. So I'm going to use the, the sentence starter, um, it all started when. I'm gonna use this one here, it all started when, okay? You guys can choose your own. So remember, you, you should have already draw, drawn out your character or your character in your setting as your beginning. You should draw on a picture and now you're working on writing, writing your beginning. And start with one of these here. I'm going to start with this one. It all started when. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to make this big again so you can see me. So I used the sentence starter. It all started when. And then I wrote it down. Daniela and her mom were walking around the mall. So all together it says, it all started when Daniela and her mom were walking around the mall. That's my beginning. Now I'm going to move to another page maybe the back of your paper, and you're gonna write the middle. So let's write the words middle at the very top of your paper. So middle. If you look, the middle tells about the problem. So here we're gonna introduce the problem. What is my problem again? Well, thank goodness I have my handy dandy graphic organizer from Monday. My problem is that they don't have enough money to buy a coat that Daniela really wants. Okay, so now I need to draw a picture where the middle is. Now I also might want to put the word problem. So give me one second. So I put middle and introduce the problem, okay? Now I'm gonna draw a line in the middle of my paper so that I can have Space for a picture and some words. And right on the top, you're going to draw what happens in the middle. So go ahead and draw what's in the middle. Stop it and draw. I'm going to do the same thing. I show here, this is my picture of the middle. The problem, remember, is she doesn't have enough money for the coat. So I draw the coat on the hanger. And then I have Daniela, who is pointing at the coat. And there's a speech bubble, her talking. She said, Mama, yo quiero esa chaqueta which means, mom, I want that jacket. And then the mom responds and answers in a speech bubble and I say, pero no tenemos suficiente dinero, which means she's saying, but we don't have enough money. So see how I drew that out, the problem? Okay, so now I'm ready to write my middle part. And so if I go back here and I look at my sentence starters, now this time I'm gonna look at the middle. So I can use one of these sentence starters. Then, next, later, after that, second, third, soon after, between, also, and, during, later on, after that, suddenly, all of a sudden, later in that day, after a while, quickly, however, a short while later, the next thing that happened was, so remember I started, it all started when Daniela and her mom were walking around the mall. How do I want to start my next one? I'm gonna do after a while. I wanna use this one, after a while. You can choose your own. So you choose one of those and start writing your middle, your problem, just your problem, nothing else, okay? So pause and write out your middle, which is your problem of your story. So I ended up writing out my story the middle part, just the middle of my problem, okay? Because remember, middle introduces the problem. So I said, after a while, Daniela noticed a beautiful coat that she really wanted. She asked her mom if she could buy it. Sadly, her mom said no, they couldn't because they didn't have enough money. So see how I use this to help me write this? And the very last part, so you have your beginning, this is your beginning, your middle, and the last piece is to write your end. So again, you're going to write the word end at the top of your paper, your next paper, 
end, and the end tells the solution. So I want you to write these two things, the word end and solution at the top. Once you have that down, draw a line kind of in the middle of your paper, just like that, so you have space for a picture and your writing. And then I want you to draw your ending. How does it end? So remember, this is the solution. If you're not sure what your solution was, go back and look at your graphic organizer from yesterday. My solution was that the mom makes a coat just like the one she wants. So I need to draw a picture of that happening here. Okay, so I'm going to pause and do that. So I drew a picture of the mom and she's making or sewing the, the jacket or the coat that she wants. And then Danielle's happy on the side as her mom is making her jacket or her coat, just like the one that she wants. Okay. Now that I've drawn my ending or my solution, now it's time to write the words that go with my solution. So if I show you the sentence starters for the end, let's see here, what can we choose from? We start with the last part, finally, last, at last, in the end, when we were finished, it was all over, this explains, or afterwards. Okay, I'm going to use the one afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on writing my words, and I'm going to start with this sentence starter afterwards. I want you to do the same. Stop and write out your words for your ending. Guys, I used this one. I did change it just a little bit, but instead of saying afterwards, I just said after. So I said, after coming home from the mall, Daniela's mom decided to make Daniela a coat just like the one she wanted. And so here I am with my ending, the solution, remember, which was the mom was going to make her um, a coat just like the one she wanted. Okay, so now you should have a beginning. You should have a beginning, a middle, I'm sorry, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Three different pieces of paper or sides of a paper that have the beginning should have your characters and setting, just like this one. I have, it all started when Daniela and her mom were walking around the mall. This is my character, my setting has been introduced. My middle has my problem. After a while, Daniela noticed a beautiful coat that she really wanted. She asked her mom if she could buy it. Sadly, her mom said they couldn't because they didn't have enough money. And then my last part has my ending, which is my solution. And I say, after coming home from the mall, Daniela's mom decided to make Daniela a coat just like the one she wanted. And that's the end of my story. I hope you guys were able to do the same thing. You're going to draw your beginning, then write it. Draw your middle, then write it. Draw your ending, and then write it. Okay, use those sentence starters to help you. And also remember what goes inside of the beginning, middle, and end. You guys can do it. I can't wait to see your ideas. You're going to take a picture of all three pages, or if you print it off this paper, you can just take a picture of this paper. So that's what you're turning in on a seesaw, is your three parts, your beginning, middle, and end, both the pictures and the writing. All right? All right, guys, can't wait to see it.